Hey TFP TV, welcome to another episode at SHOT Show 2018. Today we are here with Suppressed Weapon Systems and Eric from yeah. the company was able to join us and tell us a little about the product. Thanks for coming on the show, Eric. Appreciate it. Um, so we're a small company. We're out of uh, South Houston, a small town called Stafford. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're bringing accurate integrals back onto the market. Uh, there's been quite a few integrals that have been around for about 20, 30 years and uh, they're kind of seen as a novelty. Uh, I owned a few, I had a lot of fun with them, but I realized that they were, that's what they were. They were novelty, they weren't accurate. Um, they sounded good, but they just didn't shoot all that well. They're kind of heavy, not serviceable. And, and that's what drove me into building some of these new rifles. Uh, uh, been designing suppressors and rifles for about seven years. And this is our, kind of what we came up with. Uh, we call this the monolithic integral suppressed barrel. Uh, the MISB is what we refer to it for short. Uh, we started building it on bolt guns, uh, 1022s, AR-15s, really anything with a fixed barrel platform. Uh, like I couldn't do an AK, but I can do an AR because the DI gas systems uh, is a pretty easy system to copy. So really what we're doing is we simplified it. You know, keep it simple, stupid, kiss. It's really easy. It's just a tube, an end cap, and a barrel. It's all one piece. You can't have baffle strikes. Uh, the scope's always sighted in. You can't take it off. Uh, really the only thing we're lacking over a, a threat on suppressors is modularity. No, you can't go gun to gun to gun, but we're kind of the evolution of lots of people have cans. Lots of people have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cans and they're kind of bored with that. Well, what's next? I see this as being next. Um, I see a lot of hunters going to this platform they don't have to worry about. Is the gun sighted in with or without the can because there's no point of impact shift. Uh, with this platform, there's no point of impact shift. Uh, there's no chance of baffle strikes. Uh, it's gonna be lighter, quieter, uh, a little bit more handy. We can get shorter overall lengths uh, because we've got so much volume in the back. And you were saying earlier, especially with the AR platforms that you guys have, you can have a 10 inch barrel on your AR and if you like that 10 inch velocity or anything but your suppressor can go out further than that as well. Right so since the barrel and suppressor are all made out of the same piece your suppressor is the barrel so uh, like here on the tracking point and any of our other ARs we'll run 10 inches of barrel and then six, six inches of baffle stack so you get your 16 inch so it's all a one stamp gun so you don't have to worry about your SBR laws uh, and that brings us to you know, the shortest you're going to go on an AR, most people run 8-inch barrels. And most people have, or 8 to 10-inch barrels, and have 6 to 8-inch cans. So whether you're on a blackout or a 5.56, five, uh, you're really as short as you can go on any other platform, and you're still a one tamp tax stamp rifle. Without getting an SBR, whereas right. instead you'd have an SBR and yeah. you'd have uh, then you get the a two suppressor. Tax stamps. That's right. Right there. Um, is there anything else you want to mention? Um, so we, uh, we were lucky enough to get the contract for tracking point. Uh, they asked us to do some testing. We made them a couple of test rifles. Uh, I don't know who all we tested against, but I'm sure they tested all the major players in the internal business and they ended up going with us. Um, I've had this rifle out to 400 yards with subs. Um, it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracking Point's a neat company. They've got a, a neat customer base and kind of what they're doing. It's a, it's a lot of fun to play with. So is, are you, is Tracking Point offering this as the suppressed version of their line? Because they obviously has a non-suppressed version. So right. is there a suppressed version so, or something? Uh, um, to my knowledge, all their guns are unsuppressed. They offer um, Crow muzzle brakes, so you can buy a Crow can. They've kind of partnered with Crow or Crux. I'm not trying to say it. But in terms of the Integral, they're, uh, they've gone with our barrel. They call this the, uh, the ISR 300, the Integral Suppressed Rifle 300 Blackout. And what happens underneath the uh, underneath the shield? What can you talk about a little bit? Some of the lightning cuts that you have, and some of the uh, cuts that you really have going on. So what I can kind of explain here is, this is all the barrel. Mm -hmm. So this there's no nothing screwed, nothing welded, nothing pinned. This is all made out of the blank. Uh, your rifling does come right out to here, which is the muzzle. Uh, we got a muzzle break and we have these big giant flutes that run down the barrel. And these are cuts, these are lightning right. cuts, these are not part of the suppressor really influencing the gas or anything. Well, of course they are. So, they are? Uh, this is under the suppressor tube, so this is inside the suppressor. So removing this weight does several items. First off, it reduces weight. Uh, second off, it's, it can help strengthen the barrel because you're taking weight out. It's kind of like a... Uh, that's why they put holes in like big I-beams when they build airplanes. They, it's stronger that way. Uh, the other thing that it's doing is it's creating volume. So this was filled up with a barrel. Now that we've removed that, it's increased the volume under the tube. Okay. So uh, we've got a special tool that we make to crown the barrel. And then here's the rest of the suppressor. Uh, say on a 30-06, we add 8 inches of stack to the end of the standard. 5.56. Um, five, five, 
like 243, 6.5 Creedmoor, we do a six and a half inch stack. So you really get a short overall length on top of your rifle barrel. And uh, this barrel weighs less than three pounds. Yeah. So if you pick up a Remington Sendero, those barrels weigh about four and a half pounds. So yeah. this is over a pound lighter than a factory barrel. Than a factory barrel. With, with no suppressor. suppressor on. Yeah, exactly. So the balance yeah. is really there. Uh, a complete rifle for us set up like this, and this stock is around eight pounds. Eight pounds. With, um, without an optic. Okay. What are the kinds of markets you're going after here? Uh, really, this started out with a hunting market. Um, the vast majority of our customers are hunters in South Texas. We're learning that there's a lot of people that are hunting in Colorado and Florida. Uh, we've got guns going to the uh, Scottsdale, Arizona Gun Club. Uh, we do guns for several rental ranges, um, machine gun barrels, all kinds of stuff. So we're not really designed. We're, we're really not targeting like PRS shooters. I do have guys that do shoot PRS with our rifles. Um, since the barrel is not part of the suppressor, the suppressor is actually the tube, that's what's engraved. When you do burn the rifling out, most people will never do that, but it happens. People do shoot 5,000 rounds out of their rifle, send it back to me, I put a new barrel in it, and there's no tax stamp involved. No ATF paperwork, they can uh, change calibers. You gotta keep the same overall length, obviously, because the suppressor's uh, registered with the ATF, but you can change what the barrel is. Sounds good. Well, Eric, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us on TFB TV. We really no, appreciate, appreciate it. it, and we hope uh, people take an interest in your stuff. No, thanks for your time. Cool, absolutely.